Hello and welcome back to my walkthrough to Final Fantasy XV. In the last episode, we defeated Aranea Highwind in the mini boss here in uh, Chapter 6. And now we have Iris in our party, and she is going to stay in our party for a fair while um, now, depending on how much we can do. And now, unfortunately, uh, I didn't actually realize this uh, when I was first planning this out, but essentially, um, what it means by uh, the whole uh, the section it was talking about where I was uh, saying uh, you may well be locked out for some time. This is why. So essentially um, because of all set to set sail we can now we have now essentially blocked out of every route outside of Old Lestalem. We can't head back into the sky. We're pretty much locked to this sub uh, southwestern corner of the map. So what we're actually going to do is we're just going to follow the main quest line. And what that requires us to do is to head down towards Cape Kayam. However, we have several um, enjoyable little side quests that we can do. We can take steps along the side to go to both the Malmalam Thicket and also to Larity Seaside. And whilst we might not do anything at Larity Seaside, we'll definitely be doing uh, some interesting things around uh, Malmalam Thicket. It's where we need to go for a Sanya quest and some other things. So um, there is very much reason for us uh, to go there. So in order for us to go there, though, we will actually want to cash in one of our hunts. So the f we want to take one of the hunts that's located in Malmalam. I believe, I'm hoping Welcome that there is one stop. here um, called Blobs Ashore, yes, I, I believe. I couldn't be more um, impressed. Which we do want to take care of. Um, you must be tired from the trek. So let's go to our hunts Guaranteed and let's have a look. Yeah, there it is. Blobs are sure. So this is one we definitely want to take take on. Um, so uh, it involves some uh, gelatin. As you can see, it uh, only arrives. Uh, at nightfall, which is a little frustrating, so that probably means we're going to need to wait around for um, a fair amount, although we will be going through um, a lot of Malmalum, so hopefully uh, maybe uh, it will actually so, just be naturally the time that it takes us to get there. We'll also buy uh, Kenny's Special Salmon. Uh, like I said, I think this is the original Kenny's Diner, so this is where we get a Special we'll Salmon recipe, it. which gives us um, a very decent attack boost, magic boost, and defense boost all at once, and should also give Ignis another recipe, I believe. It does indeed. Kenny's secret recipe regard uh, needing uh, garlic and wen of sal salmon fillet. So, there we go. We now have our Kenny buffs, and, and now we are ready game. to head in. Now, I think, just noticing from my money, uh, that... I'm not sure that I saved after buying all of those healing items. So we'll just quickly um, buy some of the healing it's items that we did at the end of the last episode. So we'll get like 25 of those. Need anything else? And 20 of those, leaving Thank us flat much. broke pretty much. And now what we can do is we can uh, jump in the car and we'll have a, a, a nice long conversation, you know, with um, Iris and everyone else. All right, move out. Yeah. And away we go. So, obviously, um, with the car being limited, I think there is a case that you can actually use, um... You can use chocobos. Given her prowess, you should be glad you didn't. Yeah, the Loki guy was nothing compared to her. Though we may not have fared so well without the Marshal. Think things would have gone differently if he were here now? Was she offered to play again? Maybe we'll get the chance to find out. So we see Gladiolus wanting to uh, tackle with Aranea again, and obviously they mentioned Loki. So they're the three sort of main or sub commanders of the Imperial Army. You have Aranea being a mercenary, you have Loki, and you have Caligo, who obviously was the one that we captured in Fort Valery. Um, 
So we have this rather uh, beautiful view of uh, the seaside as we now um, head down towards Cape Chiam. So... So yeah, so like I was saying, essentially along this route we're going to... Uh, Aries is going to suggest that we stop off. So what they're talking about there is that at the in the uh, Malmolum thicket there is actually a um, there is a royal arm. This is another dungeon for us to take care of, and uh, it is too many monsters. Are you kidding? What could be better than roughing it out here? It is a level a thirty-five be mission, I believe. Um, so relatively high, uh, relatively high level, um, but nothing too much. We should still be okay. We made it. And we'll be returning here several times. Um, as with most of the dungeons, uh, I don't believe this has a secondary, a secondary secret. Oh. Like, very difficult While you guys one. were gone, I saw a chocobo run past, and it had a person on its back. Have you guys ever ridden one before? I bet it'd be super fun. <laughs> Funny you should ask. Knocked. Call a bird for the lady. Oh, we would, but I don't have any... Oh, I don't have chocobos with me. That's really annoying. Um... I'm assuming I can't... Oh, we can, actually. So if we just return to Old Lestalem very quickly, because um, I think it's I think it's important that we actually uh, take these chocobos. Not only will it obviously aid in our uh, just uh, the flexibility of movement, but you know they've made a comment in the game. I sh who am I to uh, to disagree with what they're suggesting that we do? So, uh, yeah, no, um, with Malmal and Thicket, there's going to be a bunch of side quests. Obviously, we already have the Gigantoid quest from Sanya, but there are also some, uh, I believe there should be some, also some other smaller quests that we can also take care of around here. So, we will rent these out for another, uh, well, can only afford three days, that's fine. We can now return to the car. And uh, then we'll be able to uh, continue our travels. So yeah, a fair few missions that we want to sort of consider around here. Um, hopefully, yeah, we should we shouldn't have any trouble with it. I wouldn't have ah. thought so. Call a bird for the lady? Yes, we will. So. Let's go. Here we go. Everyone on chocobos. Let's see, what colour does does Iris? Iris gets a bright pink chocobo, isn't that just adorable? <laughs> okay. So, Matt, let's have a look. Uh, there's a few things just around here that we probably want to try and no, no, we don't want to do that. Um just along the path that we just uh, went by, we can grab the um, the mineral deposit and the uh, the garlic that were along the way. As a, um, I don't think we have picked up a garlic as a as an ingredient, so uh, it's always important to uh, continue our collection of ingredients. For the ride. Nice ride with you. That's it. There you go. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> I could taste this for you. So, once more, our collection of a new ingredient means that we get a new recipe, which is very good. Um, just pick that up, whatever that is. We get an, another earth gemstone, so it looks like we should be good for earth gemstones. Easy now. Huh. 
so. Anyway, we continue to uh, make, yeah, to head over here and we've got ourselves a mineral deposit here. Lovely. And now what we want to do is we want to sort of follow this path. So there's a path uh, that leads round and then leads across the river, which will take us... Uh, so yeah, and that will take us all the way to uh, where we need to be. So... We'll head down here and then head round and uh, we'll enter... Uh, this uh, this region. As you can see, there is a um, an energy deposit. This is uh, some energy deposits around here, along with a haven, um, as we would expect. Sort of, uh, I doubt they would actually put um, a big dungeon here without you know having a nearby haven. Uh, wouldn't would not make much sense. So we'll just uh, quickly pick up our energy uh, because I'm pretty sure we have no ice or fire on us. So very much makes sense for us to uh, grab hold of this. So obviously this whole path is completely optional. Um, we needn't go here with uh, Iris, but um, I want to show you what, um, you know, the interactions you can have with Iris. And again, you can extend these for even longer. Um, as I think I was saying, I think you can bring her to, um, I think you can bring her to, uh, you can bring her to uh, the other areas of the map if you just uh, simply um, use your chocobos instead of using the car. Obviously the car can't uh, travel uh, through the blockades, but I think there are regions where you can actually use your chocobo to sort of bypass the blockades. Uh, but I might be wrong on saying that, um, I don't know for sure is the thing. Um, so, I'm just going to check something because I'm pretty sure we've got a... Um, we have a Scraps of Mystery located around this area, so another one of these sort of tiny weeny uh, map pieces located uh, across across uh, the, uh, the map. So, it looks like it is within um, Malmalan Thicket itself, so we don't need to worry about it quite just yet. And again, there's no, we have no need to rush so much because we do actually need to be in Malmalan Thicket at, uh, late at night in order to be able to actually do our quest anyway. So, there's no rush yet. So, we see a group of what I'm assuming are sea devils, um, and we're going to hopefully see, uh, what, um, Iris can do for us in battle as well, because uh, she certainly isn't just going to sit back and let the boys have all the fun. Cool. So, Sea Devils, once more we know that they are weak to normal daggers, firearms and ice magic, while resistant to fire. Take care. So. Alone? Yeah. I wasn't part of Deal? So we can use a nice, very powerful guys, magic. Like, our magic is uh, powerful Maybe. enough now that it can yeah. wreck most you look minor cool enemies. Doing it too. <laughs> yeah, we get that a lot. Don't take it to heart. So we will. Easy now. Once again, jump on board, and here we are, Malmalum Thicket. We'll take the winding path upwards. sure that we're on the right path. I'm pretty sure we are, but you never know. Uh, there's a treasure over there, which we should probably uh, just grab hold of while we're around here. Last thing I need now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. Oh, oh, just more spiracorns. That, they're not too much trouble.
So that is um, our Chocobo providing us with a, a nice little buff there. Excuse me. Give me. Watch yourself, Doc. I know. Are you ready? Okay, so that's one Spiracorn down. Okay, second, lovely. We've got some killer bees. Definitely take care of. There we go, nice and simple. Everything okay with you? Nothing to worry about with you guys around. So Iris does have a, a special ability that we can use, um, a, a technique, I guess. I've never actually used it, uh, which is rather interesting. So uh, I'm sure we'll find out what that is. Along with, um, uh, she also, um, whilst having obviously very low health, as you can see, 158 compared to everyone else up in the thousands. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean Let's that go. she's completely useless because she does uh, will provide healing in battle, uh, primarily, is her, um, I'm going all out. her stead, which is, um, you know, never a bad thing, never a bad thing to have a, a nice little assist um, from time to time, just sort of helping you out. So you can see that the path sort of zigzags its way up, the, up this um, hill. So we'll continue to uh, make our way around. We don't need to do all of these battles along the way. Um, it's already getting dark. Um, there may well be something. So that's obviously um, them saying this is where we're going to be fighting the blobs, I guess. The gelatin. Um, the breeze feels so good. As we continue to wind our way all the way up to the top. So, as you can see, this is uh, the area we need to be in for the professor's protege. We'll meet again. And into Malmalum Thicket we go. Let's just check our. Are you up for it? I'm down. I'll just make sure that our map is correct. And yeah, so. There may all be somewhere else, um, it may all be around here, the, uh, the map piece that I was mentioning earlier, but um, we will concentrate on getting through this dungeon first. So, mandrakes, common enemies around this area. Anybody up for a light workout? They are weak to swords, pistols and fire, so... Our um, magic should be very, very uh, useful here. Along with, as you can see, the engine blade doing uh, lots and lots of damage. The engine blade is going to be just, you know, uh, pretty standard. I think a lot of these. Slimy bug and ruin my nice kicks. Oh, it's so much easier to parry when you're using something. And so, there's Eerie throwing a Moogle toy at her or something. So, anyway, we take care of these guys. Nice and simple, lovely. Okay, so we get a Thunderbolt, which, as you can imagine, is a weapon for Gladiolus. Um, it is... Um, uh, as you, and I'm sure you can imagine it is imbued with electric type and uh, uh, the uh, electric element. So soldier wasps are weak to daggers, pole arms, and ice magic. So they'll okay. poison it. Lovely. Okay, to get rid of them quickly. I think is important there. Me? Yeah. Can't stand them. Same here. Icky. So, mal mushrooms That's are it. a very special type of mushroom now that you can find only recipe. in Malmalum thicket, as you can imagine. Um, and, as you can see, they are vital for a certain dishes for Ignis, so we'll be sure to uh, pick them up there. So we get a prismatic shard. Uh, we can circle around just to keep an eye out. You know, we want to make sure that we don't miss anything. Is that a uh, rock I hear babbling? 
A regular rip. So it's a more uh, giant wasp. I don't generally these flying sort of enemies are always going to be a pain just because they require you to uh, do a lot of. So we're just going to start uh, defending as uh, Iris does a very handy job there of coming in to help us out. So we'll get a uh, pop of this star shell out of there. Lovely, so that down goes one. I love the fact that Iris just sort of dances around all, all of the danger okay? and just sort of helps okay? you out. What about you, Noct? All good over here. Okay, so another prismatic shard. And are we heading the wrong way? Yes, we are. So we'll head back up. And we will find a shield chairs. So some crab type enemies are located also around this area. Um, these guys are now sufficiently low level that they'll hopefully not be too much of a trouble for us. Although I've never been particularly good at these guys. There we go, lovely pal. Destroyed. Hey, I know those runes. It's a sign. We should set up camp. You a fortune teller now? We can rest up or move on. It's your choice, Noct. Okay, so as you can see, there is not only um, there is also a helpful um, a helpful haven located within this dungeon as well. The, uh, the haven here. Um, I am pretty key that we actually finish this. Uh, section today so therefore we will not be staying um, at the haven largely because we want to be able to finish the boss uh, collect our royal arm at the end and also um, and also like uh, take care of the um, Uh, take care of the blobs that will, uh, the gelatin for our, uh, our hunt that will be uh, spawning outside um, uh, during the uh, during the night time. So we're doing massive damage. There is a giganto there, so we can actually complete, um, or at least you know, partially complete the. Uh, Quest for um, Sanya. Shouldn't be too difficult at level 27. There we go, lovely. So the Giganto goes down. We get ourselves the uh, slimy oil and the gigantoed steak, which again gives us another recipe. Toad steak drumsticks for Ignis. Lovely. So, I say lovely, I'm not really sure I'd want to be eating the toad, but fair enough. Let me get that there. There we go. Lovely. We get ourselves some delta daggers. So, another uh, weapon um, hidden quite, quite sneakily away there. So we have a full lightning inventory. Um, if we head over here, we find ourselves a golden hourglass. Uh, what else can we find? So, uh, let's just check the map, make sure that we're not heading the wrong way. Uh, we could always head south, actually. There is actually a, a small area south of here. Um, I don't think this uh, dungeon has a fishing spot. There are some dungeons which do, but I don't think this is one of them. We should actually use our elementsy here because we have maxed out spells. 
So I think fire is going to be very useful here. I'll also create it with some ice. Again, we don't want to make a unicast spell. Uh, so, what do we want to use with it? Maybe some... Some Havoc Fang Hides. So, we'll craft that, nice. We can equip, or not, just for now. So, we'll make our way downstream once more. Again, I just want to uh, make sure that we explore every area here. Um, so, we'll pick up the fire. So, that is where we were. This is the stream. I don't think we can go any further down without winding up at the bottom. Time to start moving upstream. Oh, oh man! My underwear's... <laughs> Soaked! I really hope that's from the river. Right <gasps> down, a wee bit. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so... We'll just uh, climb up the river once more. I think that's pretty much everything that we wanted to collect around here. So that uh, we're doing pretty nicely. Pick up that. Can head over here. Pick up that as well. And then I think the only uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. In this area, if we just check the map once more, we do want to be heading up there somehow, but I'm not quite sure how we do it. We probably have to. Uh, cold, yeah, there cold. you go. Freezing cold. You want to stand under that waterfall and let it toughen you up a little. I don't think that would be good for my camera. For me. So we collect ourselves a moon pendant there, another accessory, and then we can make our way up past the waterfall up here, and now I think we'll be... Just keeps going on from here. This place is... cozy? Well, I wouldn't get too comfy if I were you. Right. I'm not out of the woods yet. So, oh, there we go. There is the main man, beast of, of the so Malmolan Thicket. It is a Bandersnatch at level 38. And if we can take care of this guy, we can be done with the Malmolan Thicket, at least for now. Uh, we will have to return here for some other side quests, but this is the main boss that we've come all the way here for. So, he, level 38, is weak to pole arms and machinery and lightning damage, uh, whilst resistant to fire. We will cast uh, that, why won't we? And then we'll also quickly uh, give... Gladio, rather than a hard edge, you can have the Thunderbolt. Because that's going to just wreck him. Um, I wonder what were those Delta Daggers are... Dep so they deprive foes of their defense, which is rather interesting. Um, what's Ignis currently hold wielding? He's holding the Avengers, which are the poisoning ones. So let's use Delta Daggers on Ignis. And rather than, rather than the Blade of Brynir here, we're actually going to use the Javelin, even though it is our weakest pole arm, certainly. Um, not particularly strong. Let's see, uh, this ginormous monster. Ah, there we go, again. Nice and vulnerable. Wreck shot with uh, the armor here. Ready, guys? And there we go, Armaga Chain finally actually connected one of those. So Armaga Chain, uh, again, you click both um, click both L1 and R1 right at the end of your Armaga, um, and you get triggered the Armaga Chain, which, as you can see, is pretty awesome. So, everyone is injured. Um, you can probably find them wherever they are. But... 
get everyone out of danger. Is that Pronto? I'm pretty sure I've lost that. There we go, lovely. And we take down the Bandersnatch, lovely. That was really, really efficient though. Obviously, um, right at the end, we just sort of spent some time uh, healing everyone up, but... Um, uh, no, very, very good. Very I good. I onto a hotel bed. <sighs> Cannonball for me. Camp's not gonna cut it tonight. So, well, they say that, but we're definitely camping tonight. <laughs> but anyway, so we're gonna pop through here. Here is the royal tomb, tomb of the pious. We open the door, and we're going to gain access to another weapon to our arsenal. Another one of. Ah. Uh, Another one of the royal arms. It looks like a scepter. So there we have it, Scepter of the Pious, we complete the Malmalum Thicket, gain a nice big chunk of experience. And now what we have to do is we can go to the map, we can go to the return to the entrance of the dungeon, and hopefully, given the time, I'm hoping that returning to the entrance of the dungeon does not shift the time, it might do actually, I just realised. We might go back to the morning. Nope, it's still nighttime. Awesome. So we should have a. Uh, we should have. Finally cleared up. Familiar and fair is the scent of fresh rain. Yeah, I like it too. So yeah, we should definitely now just be able to try and. Uh, rain find the uh, these uh, gelatin in order for us to uh, take care of uh, our hunt. So we go to the required area, there they are, gelatin. So like all flan type en enemies, I'm assuming that these guys are going to be very resistant to physical attacks or virtually every attack. So we will hopefully just be able to nuke these guys with some magic, and that should uh, do... Yeah, there you go. Resistant to everything. Absorb fire and ice, but weak to lightning. So... We need to hope that the uh, the first hit of these is actually going to take them out. So, that is... well, two of them. And we can still do nice damage even with just our physical attacks. They obviously do not have a lot of health, those guys. So, down goes the gelatin. Everything okay? With you? Nothing to worry about with you guys around. Okay, so now just to finish off this episode, we'll probably head down to the uh, little campsite down uh, outside of Malmalum. Um, to finish off this episode, but before then, we're just going to look around here for um, uh, something. Just this last uh, little thing, this um, piece of the map, because we know that I, I know that there is a piece of the map around this area, and we just need to be able to find it. So if we just look at our map um, and just have a look here, so. If we zoom in, it's, it may well be north of here, so maybe around, uh, no. So it may well be like around this area. Whether we can actually access that area is another sort of matter.
We can only try, right? Anyone else feel like stopping back home? Not before we take back what's ours. All right, now that's what I like to hear. It's not merely taking back, it's payback as well. So that is very much me just heading down and very much being blocked off by this side route, which is a little annoying. Um, so we're definitely going to need to... Uh, So yeah, we can certainly try and uh, find this guy a little better. At the meantime, what we can actually do is we can look at our ascension because we have so many ascension points um, just waiting to be spent here. So stats is looking great. Obviously, we can increase everyone's uh, we could increase everyone's well, most of people's stats. Um, I think what we definitely want to do is we want to. Extend that boost of meals eaten at camp is a good one, just in general. Um, we can... Uh, use Sage to boost damage for every, ally, uh, for every enemy scanned. Um, we can increase armor chain or just... Boost armor chain, yeah, so the more we can use the armor go the better, so um, both of those are very useful. Um, and also gaining AP while doing so is also going to be very useful. Um, this is always the problem with this, it, you, you just have so many things that are actually really good that it's very difficult to sort of decide um, which ones that you just need to, you know, which one to choose. We'll choose that one because everyone else has currently got their um, everyone else has currently got their uh, first aids. Um, and then we do have overwhelm as well for Ignis or Cyclone. Uh, Recoil or Gravisphere. So Gravisphere is very nice, so we're going to use that, that one as well. Um, and now we just need to really uh, find where on earth these uh, maps, this map is. Okay, that is bad news for us. So we're just going to get the hell out of there. Okay, so what it actually is, is it should be a little south of the entrance. So it should be around, like, this area. No. That is getting an irritating, I'll be honest. <laughs> so we'll just select there. We'll hopefully grab this little piece of the map. It is, mild, as you can tell, it is in a very, very little secretive location. I think you might visit this place once in like very late game quests, but um, like, there's nothing really here. Not. What are your plans for after reuniting with Lady Luna Freya? Not exactly like you can bring her along for the ride. Think you might still pull off a wedding? <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Come on, choke. Ah. I like how they just casually talk about Luna Freya there, even though Iris is with us, and it's like we know that Iris likes Noctis, so that would be Thanks for the ride. So we pop by here, nice we'll pick ride, that up. A rare coin. There we go. Lovely. But what does that say? Marvel and Thicket, no hunters allowed. So that's where our map was. So what we want to do is we want to head down here to this building. And there is. It is quite comforting to see other people about. There is actually a shop there, which is interesting. Um, it's so it's around here. this right building. 
just located just there. So there we go. There's our scraps of mystery. Surprise, that is map mystery scrap. map number 13. Um, and it corresponds to somewhere near Cape Kayam, I believe. So the maps in Clain tend to actually um, point very much like most of the maps are like, you know, nice and close to one another. This one, as you can see, is miles away from uh, where the, uh, the map is actually found. Anyway, so a is this actually a place to stay? Potent potions you need. So we can buy literally or virtually all of our healing items, which is cool. Take care out there, you will. Her name is Kimya. Interesting. Interesting that there's a, a little shop out here. I'm surprised by that. Cool. Okay, so that is that. Now all we need to do get to a campsite. We will Let's heal go. up. Um, Get everything nice and done, and then uh, we will call this episode to an end. So I hope you um, have gained a little idea as to, you know, what Iris can do when you sort of have her on your team. Um, it is completely optional, this whole path. It's completely optional keeping Iris on your team for any sustained amount of time. Like, uh, and oh, thanks, I know buddy. a lot of people, um, or at least I've, you know, certainly <coughs> I know that Iris is very well loved um, as a character. I, I very much enjoy her character as well. And I think that, uh, you know, any chance you have to have additional interactions, because the whole, you know, in many ways, what makes this game so great a lot of the times is not necessarily the bombastic action sequences and all of the crazy uh, magics, you know, the magic and all this stuff but it's the small interactions the the conversations you have between your teammates and having every you know just adds to that adds another dimension to you know the conversations you have with your allies but unfortunately i think she will not be staying with us much longer uh, malam is pretty much the main area we can go to we can go to larity seaside but i don't think there's anything there for us um, because none of the, we don't have any hunts for that area at the moment, unless we were to uh, rush back to, um, unless we were to rush all the way back to uh, Old Lestalem and collect a new quest, which we could do, but I don't know, be it. that would be quite the trek, or, you know, going through several loading screens, which I'm sure you don't care too much about. So there we go. We actually get up to another level of our chocobo as well. We now have rushed a chocobo and our chocobo can now attack enemies, which is pretty awesome. There is there nothing that these birds can do, cannot do. So anyway, we will uh, find the bridge, cross over, and then head straight for the, uh, the neighboring um, Haven around here, and we can uh, drift to sleep. So yeah, no, uh, the, the next thing we'll be doing is we'll be taking Iris all the way back to, um, all the way over to Cape Kayam, and then uh, that is going to be it for Iris for a while, um, and we'll have our own little, um, we'll see where the story goes from there. So here we go. We get to camp here. We will camp. Camping sucks when it rains. Less whining, more working. So there we go. Telgay Haven. Do 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 do. Do, do, do. So, what do we want to eat? What do we want to eat? I think this time we'll go for... Uh, we could go for the creamy fowl sauté. I think. So we'll go for that one. Creamy fowl sauté. Uh, we'll give our chocobo some gazelle greens. Gives us a nice HP boost. It means that we're immune to poison as well. Are all factors that will have no effect on our next uh, adventure. We get a nice chunk of experience, which means everyone gains a level. Everyone's up to uh, close to level 40 now. Um, got some nice photos here as well. 
there's Prompto trying to be a perv, trying to get a photo up Irisiska. Um, a nice group of everyone on the Kokobos. That is a picture of us taking on some wasps. So yeah, lots of... Uh, I like a lot of these photos. So there we have it. We have that. And that is going to be it. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode of my walkthrough to Final Fantasy XV. I hope you'll join me on the next episode where we will be saying... Uh, a sad goodbye to Iris uh, as we head over to Cape Kayem and then we'll see where the story here uh, leads on as we finish off chapter 6 and move on towards chapter 7. I hope to see you on the next episode.